the Bermuda Weather Service is the latest tropical storm Florence is not a threat to Bermuda at this point in time. Welcome to another update from Force of 13 on the uh, tropical storm. And we start off with uh, local information. Here's a look at two radar scopes for the Bermuda region. Florence weakens a little more, but still expected to restrengthen over the weekend. This is the latest from the National Hurricane Center, and Florence is located 25 decimal 1 degrees north, 50 decimal 7 degrees west, about 9.25 miles east northeast of the northern. Uh, Leeward Islands, 985 miles east southeast of Bermuda, maximum sustained wind 65 miles per hour, tracking west at 7 miles per hour, and minimum central pressure at this point in time is 996 millibars. And here's the center's track cone. Florence structure continues to be negative, affected by strong southwesterly shear. And this is the track chart from the Bermuda Weather Service. Cloud tops have generally warmed over the last six hours. Recent microwave data shows that the low level circulation centre of Florence is displaced nearly 20 nautical miles, I think this is right, to the southwest of the mid level centre. Satellite intensity estimates have decreased since last night and now support a initial intensity of 55 knots. Based on GFS, CCMW, ship's diagnostic output, the southwest of this year is near its peak and should gradually decrease over the next 24 to 36 hours. All the intensity guidance shows little change in intensity through that time from 48 hours onward, a low shear warm sea surface environment should allow the tropical storm to re-strengthen. However, the extent timing of the strengthening varies greatly from model to model. This is the life of the tropical system up to a few hours ago. Dynamic models generally showing more intensification and sooner rather than the statistical models as been the case for most of France's existence so far. Confidence in the intensity forecast, especially beyond 36 hours, is low. The new official forecast is a little lower than the previous advisory for the first 48 hours, but close to it after that, rise between the more aggressive HCCA, less aggressive IV C and consensus aids. Regardless of Florence's eventual track, large swells will begin to affect Bermuda later today portions of the US East Coast this weekend resulting in life-threatening surf and rip currents. Now we have a look at the EPS track guidance and other related information. 
and you can notice the variance in the models. And as mentioned, there still remains very large uncertainty where Florence's track beyond day five. It is far too soon to determine what, if any, other impacts France could have on the US East Coast next week. Since we are near the peak of hurricane season, this is a good time for everyone who lives in a hurricane prone area to ensure that they have their hurricane plan in place. Experimental late cycle intensity guidance. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information on Florence and the other tropical systems on the radar. Here's another look at the life of the tropical storm and one could ask when will Florence regain correction how he can status and looking at the satellite imagery you can clearly see that Florence did have a eye early on in her life And here's a look at the shear tendency. Tropical systems love the low wind shear, which is represented in the green and blue colours. Wind shear, the red is unfavourable. Green, favourable, yellow, neutral. And repeating, whilst we are near the peak of the hurricane season, this is a good time for everyone who lives in a hurricane prone area to ensure that they have their hurricane plan in place. A 50 minute bar vorticity. And the GFS total accumulated precipitation following by another look at various models on the tropical storm and the following information extracted from the tropical tidbits website and some further tracks everyone's got to consider what's happening in the upper atmospherics high pressure and here's another Model intensity of guidance, there's a couple indicating possibly Cat 5. It could be a high range Cat 3, low range Cat 4.
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat. 